Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel Sraddhas Physics. In this part we will see the Smith method for the orthogonalization of the degenerate eigen function. So now let us start with the Smith method. So here we know that if more than one eigen function belongs to the same eigen value then the eigen value spectrum is degenerate. That is simply we can say that suppose there are some eigen functions like psi1, psi2, psi3 and so on that is up to n and when an operator it will operate suppose q cap it will operate on the function psi1 then it will give the eigen value suppose lambda and the eigen function that is your psi1 and again when the operator will operate on the different wave function that is suppose psi2 if it will give the same eigen value that is lambda and again this psi2 comes here and so on that is when q cap will operate on psi n then it will give equal to lambda into psi n. So here you can see the same eigen value you will get here. So here we can say that these eigen values are degenerate in nature. Now the next is any two of the degenerate eigen function may or may not be orthogonal. And non-orthogonal and degenerate eigen function they can be orthogonalized by the Smith orthogonalization procedure. So simply you can say here when there are two different degenerate eigen functions and they are not orthogonalized by using the Smith method we can orthogonalize that function. So let us consider a set of normalized eigen functions suppose psi i equal to i equal to 1 2 and so on up to n they are suppose not orthogonal that is psi i star into psi i d q r that is equal to 1 when i equal to 1 2 3 and so on n and psi j star psi k d q r is not equal to 0 when k equal to 1 2 so on n and here j is not equal to k and here we will consider this psi i be the eigen function of an operator q cap and it belongs to the eigen value lambda so that we can write q cap psi i that is equal to lambda psi i and here i equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on n. So here the eigen value spectrum is called n fold degenerate. That is they have the same eigen value that is your lambda. And we have to construct a set of orthogonal eigen function that is u i equal to i equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on up to n which are normalized and are eigen functions of the operator q cap they belongs to the same eigen value lambda. Let ui is the new set chosen as the first member of the old set psi i so that we can consider this suppose u1 equal to psi1 so that when this q cap will operate on this u1 this will give the same q cap into psi1 and that is equal to the eigen value lambda into psi1 or that can be expressed as equal to lambda into u1. Okay. Now here we will see this u2 that that is again the linear combination of the function that is your psi1 and psi2 if we will consider then we can calculate u2 value that is here we will consider u2 is the linear combination of the two state function that is psi1 and psi2 so here we can write u2 equal to alpha psi1 plus beta psi2 or that can be written as equal to alpha u1 plus beta psi2 and here the alpha and beta are called the constant of the coefficients and u2 can be made orthogonal to u1 equal to psi1 if I will write u1 star into u2 dqr equal to 0. So that is in place of u2 I can write this is your alpha u1 plus beta psi2 because here we have considered from this equation that is u2 equal to alpha u1 plus beta psi2. So here simply we can write this is your alpha u1 plus beta psi2. And again if I will separate this two term this will be u1 star the alpha is taken outside u1 star u1 dqr whole integration plus beta is taken outside u1 star psi2 dqr and that is equal to 0 ok. And now here you can see this u1 star u1 dqr that value is equal to 1 since it is not normalized and here we can write this is your alpha plus beta and here this value we have considered suppose this is your k12 where k12 equal to integration over u1 star psi2 dqr so from this expression we can calculate alpha will be equal to minus beta k12 
okay now if i substitute this value in the equation 1 you can see here this u equal to alpha u1 plus beta psi2 if i substitute this value you can see u2 will be equal to minus beta k1 to u1 minus psi2 simply we have substituted the value of alpha here okay now if normalize if we normalize this u2 then 1 will be equal to u2 star u2 dq r integration okay so here this u2 value equal to minus beta k1 to u1 minus psi2 and if i'll take the complex conjugate of this then simply this whole star into k1 to u1 minus psi2 into dq r and that will be equal to this beta into beta that will be beta square and this minus sign into the minus sign that will be plus and here 1 minus k1 to whole square that is it is in the form like uh, psi2 star psi2 dq r equal to 1 and similarly u1 star into u1 dq r equal to 1 and the rest of the term goes to 0 so that simply we can write this is your beta square whole into 1 minus k1 to whole square and again if i will write the value of beta then this will be equal to this 1 equal to beta square into this much so beta will be equal to plus or minus 1 minus k1 to square power minus half and if i will choose only the positive value of the beta and if i will put this in the equation 3 that is your value of u2 is equal to we have calculated this is equal to minus beta k1 to u1 minus i2 so here if i will put the value of u sorry if i will put the value of beta then this will be simply this minus sign into minus sign becomes plus psi 2 minus k1 to u1 and divided by this beta is 1 minus k1 to square power minus half so this will be divided by root over of 1 minus k1 to square and when this u2 function it will operate that is q cap will operate on this function u2 then that will be equal to simply q cap psi 2 minus q cap u1 into k1 to divided by this total term root over and that is equal to when this q cap will operate on the psi 2 it will give the same eigen value that is your lambda because it is the degenerate state so here this q cap psi 2 will be equal to lambda psi 2 minus this q cap when operate on the u1 this will give again the lambda u1 and the rest of the term will remain as it is and that will be equal to if i'll take common lambda then this will be lambda whole into psi 2 minus k1 to u1 divided by the root over of 1 minus k1 to mod square and that will be equal to this total term is called u2 okay so here simply you can see that this q cap u2 will be equal to lambda into u2 so here also you can see the eigen value is lambda okay now the next is we will construct for the u3 again here we will consider the u3 is the linear combination of u1 u2 and suppose psi 3 so here we can write this u3 will be equal to a u1 plus b u2 plus c psi 3 for u3 to be orthogonal to u1 and u2 so we can write it individually that is u1 star into u3 dq r integration equal to 0 and u2 star u3 dq r integration that is also equal to 0 since it is orthogonal to u1 and u2 okay now if i will put this in that is if i will put the value of u3 in equation 2 and 3 then first of all i will put in equation 2 you can see u1 star in place of u3 i will write a u1 plus b u2 plus c psi 3 dq r that is equal to 0 or we can write since u1 star into u1 dq r that is your one let me write it here i will write just a minute okay let me write it here so this can also be written as suppose a u1 star u1 dq r plus b into integration u1 star u2 dq r plus c into u1 star psi 3 dq r and that is equal to 0 so here you know u1 star into u1 dq r since it is normalized so you can write simply this is your a plus here it is 1 and here it is 2 u1 star into u2 
and here we can write this is your orthogonal so its value goes to 0 and here this u1 star psi 3 d q1 we can write it as this is your k13 okay this is your k13 so i will write this is your c k13 that is equal to 0 so now you can see the expression this is your a plus c k13 that is equal to 0 or we can write a equal to minus c k13 okay and here the k13 value equal to this much now again if i will put the value of this u3 in this equation 3 that is u2 star into this total expression for the u3 into dq1 that is equal to 0 here you can see u2 star into u1 goes to 0 but u2 star into u2 dq1 that is your 1 so here the value is b plus c into u2 star into psi 3 that will be k23 so c into k23 that is equal to 0 where this k23 equal to u2 star into psi 3 dq1 so here you can write b equal to minus c k into two, k23 now if i will put all this in the equation 1 that is the value of a and b in equation 1 that is u3 equal to a u1 plus b u2 plus psi 3 so here if i will put the value of a and b you can see here so this u3 will be equal to minus c taken common this will be let me show you this is your the value of a is minus c k13 so this will be minus c taken out k13 u1 minus c k23 u2 or let me write this is your minus c k13 u1 minus c k23 u2 and that is your minus psi 3 or let me just correct this that is your u3 equal to a u1 plus b u2 plus c psi 3 so let me just write it here so this is u3 is equal to this is equal to a u1 plus b u2 plus c psi 3 now if i'll put the value of a so here a value is equal to minus c k 1 3 so that is equal to minus c k 1 3 into u1 and the value of b is minus c k 2 3 into u2 plus c psi 3 now if i'll take common c then this will be equal to minus c i am taking common so this will be k 1 3 u 1 this will be plus k 2 3 u 2 minus psi 3 ok so here you can see so let me just correct this so this expression will be like this will be plus k 2 3 u 2 and this will be minus psi 3 ok so this is the value of u 3 and if I will normalize this equation to u3 into u3 star dq are integration equal to 1. So that this will be your minus c as we have calculated for the u2. In the same way you can calculate for the u3 that is after normalizing you will get the value of c equal to plus or minus 1 minus k13 mod square minus k23 modulus square power 1 by 2. And here if I will consider the only the positive sign and if I will put it in the equation that is the u3 value will be equal to this much. And similarly if I will operate this q cap on the u3 then we will get finally that is when this q cap will operate on the u3 you will get lambda into the same function that is your u3. And that is here we will get the same eigen value that is your lambda. That is our main conclusion is here that that is the degenerate eigen function it may be orthogonal or may not be orthogonal but here by using this smith orthogonal orthogonalization procedure we can orthogonalize that function so here u1 u2 u3 are the eigen functions of q cap belonging to the same eigen value lambda also u1 u2 u3 are the orthogonal in pairs and are normalized the same procedure can be extended to construct u4 u5 and so on up to un so this is all about the smith method for the orthogonalization of the degenerate eigen function this is all for today thank you all